Hello, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you for for your patience on on this morning, on this uh, on this day. For uh, <laughs> I was uh, I was running quite behind. I woke up <laughs> I woke up from bed like ten minutes ago, so I had to like rush, get coffee made, uh, get my like pre-stream prep going, make sure you know like audio and visuals and all that stuff are working properly. Um, you know all that. All that fun, exciting, behind-the-scenes stuff I had to do in, like, a third of the time that I usually have. Uh, but I made it happen. I was only a, a couple minutes late, so not too bad, not too bad. But, uh, yes, I hope that you're all doing well today. We're back for some more of the Forever Lock Challenge, so very exciting stuff. Now, for those of you who weren't here yesterday, um, there has been some changes. Uh, we had a rough rough session yesterday um we had a really 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 rough session yesterday we lost a total of four pokemon while we were playing yesterday it was it was quite the bummer it was quite the bummer indeed um <laughs> we um we're up to 93 deaths across our our 10 playthroughs which is pretty bad uh we are we are swiftly running out of pokemon in gen 3 um to the point now where for the first time since we started the forever lock challenge um we have we are faced with the issue of not being able to use a full team it hasn't come up yet uh in any playthrough which has, has been i guess not surprising but um it, it is something that will will continue to happen from time to time is we will occasionally have times where we just don't have a pokemon that fits the team lock requirements uh that are a major part of the forever lock challenge uh in this case uh, we actually don't have a single Pokemon in the box who is capable of evolving twice. Uh, and what that means is we just can't add a sixth team member. We don't have anything that we can add, uh, which is unfortunate, but that's how it goes. Hey, Milo, how's it going? I'm doing okay. I'm very tired. I, uh, I was up a little a little bit later than I definitely should have been yesterday, but I'm, I'm doing okay. <laughs> I am doing okay. Uh, we're hanging in there. Um... But yeah, so uh, we, we lost four team members yesterday. Uh, there's been some change-ups. Um, we do still have some of our good our good friends on the team. We have um, Stripe and and uh, uh, Q-Tip. And, and then also uh, we still have our Metatite uh, layers. Um, I've done some grinding. I've actually done some over grinding. We are we are well over leveled at this point. So let me let me let you guys know. I, I know that I'm talking a lot this morning before we actually get into the option uh, or get into the action, uh, but I just wanted to uh, to to let you you guys know what my day was like yesterday. <laughs> uh, Milo says I'm doing pretty good myself. I'm glad to hear it, Milo. I'm glad to hear it. Um, but yeah. So yesterday, order of operations here. I finished the stream realize i need to train like crazy so i spent like six plus hours like maybe even more <laughs> um I, I i honestly i stopped keeping track after a certain point at least six six hours um grinding in this game <laughs> i spent so astronomically long trying to grind in this game uh and i well so here's what i did um i will actually make our way over to where where I spent most of my time uh, we went to Mount Battle we went back to Mount Battle which is where we fought Dakim but now it's like a proper facility that we can use um, I got poke coupons which is to say uh, whenever you win 10 rounds in Mount Battle you get poke coupons and you can buy cool stuff with poke coupons um, well hold on let me check the prize list uh, so I actually spent a stupid amount of time getting good TMs to use. I got uh, a couple of copies of Double Team, uh, and then I also got Psychic. Uh, and so we, uh, and then ad in addition to that, in addition to that, I got a good amount of money as a result of doing a lot of battles. Uh, and I went and um, I found out that you could purchase Protect, the TM for Protect, in the Under, the the town that we were in uh, in yesterday's session. Uh, so I bought a whole bunch of protects as well. So the team, in addition to having several new members, is also way more set up for double battles now, which is really cool. So let's do let's do a quick team recap just so you guys can see what's what we've got going on. Uh, we have good good old Jirachi here, <laughs> uh, holding the twisted spoon, with psychic, cosmic power, 
Uh, Swift for now, and then double team. I have every intention of replacing Swift with Doom Desire, which it will get uh, in one level. One level will have will have a, a good uh, stab steal move. Uh, so so yeah, very very cool, very very cool. Um, it's a it's an absolute monster. This Jirachi is an absolute monster of a Pokemon. Uh, it did very well in grinding, um, and it's just it's going to continue to do very very well. I'm very very pleased with how it turned out. Um, so it should be our MVP going forward. Like I can't imagine that anything will give it too much trouble. It's a freaking Jirachi. Granted, I said all these things when we played Sapphire with the Jirachi too, but I digress. It's a good Pokemon. Uh, we should be ready to rock out with it. Uh, to support Jirachi, we've got uh, Stripe holding the Silk Scarf. Now knows Secret Power, Protect, Toxic, and Ancient Power. This is an OG Gen 3 strategy of Toxic and Protect combo together um, very, very well. Uh, so Stripe should be ready to, to, to party with us uh, in a double battle only format. Like this is really, really good. It should work out well for us, I think. So yay. So yay. Um, here we have uh, we have Altaria. We have Q-Tip the Altaria. Mostly the same from yesterday, except that it now has Double Team uh, in addition to Dragon Dance, Dragon Breath, and Fly. Uh, so Double Team, as you can see, like the name of the game is Stall. <laughs> the name of the game is Stall because we're gonna do all of the like stereotypical Pokemon stalling tactics, which is to say Double Team, Toxic, and Protect. <laughs> uh, so that's that is like the name of the game. Uh, we have layers uh, now with Psychic. Again, I spent a stupid amount of time in Mount Battle grinding out those Poke coupons so that we could get Psychic. Um, so yay, we got Psychic. Wahoo! Um, in in addition, it, it also knows Protect, like, as I as I mentioned, just really good in doubles. Uh, plus Recover and Reversal, uh, holding the King's Rock uh, for you know when it comes up, which isn't going to be very often. But I also just didn't have another item to give it, so it's holding the King's Rock. Um, then we have Sackboy holding the Black Belt, uh, Seismic Toss, Protect, go figure, Vital Throw, and Cross Chop. So very, very cool uh, move set-wise there. Uh, and then, of course, we don't have a sixth team member because we don't have anyone. I, I can show you guys real fast just to verify. Um, we don't have anyone that we can actually add. There's no one that meets the criteria because Richard is, is going to be a Cradilly. Uh, Gallows is a Zatu. Lenny is a Linoon. Uh, Pete is a Pelipper. Orla is a Whale Lord, Shantae is a Metacham, uh, Grayson is a Manectric, uh, Castform is a Castform, which is fully evolved, um, uh, Dollface is a Banette, and then uh, Why Not is a Why Not, but of course Why Not does not evolve twice. So uh, yeah, nothing, nothing in the PC that we can actually add to fill the slot of a Pokemon that is that is required to be capable of evolving twice. So in that in that case, again, this is the first time it's ever come up in the Forever Lock run. Um, in when that happens, I just don't get a Pokemon for that slot. It's just that's just how it goes. <laughs> until until I can fill that slot, I have to use a five Pokemon team. Um, so yeah, we're we're nice nice and leveled up, looking really good, feeling way more confident than I was at the end of yesterday's session, which is you know hopefully a good thing. Um, we're gonna head back to the under. Uh, and finish what we finish what we started at the end of yesterday's um, yesterday's session, which is to say uh, we were following Venus uh, down a big old like uh, like mine staircase situation. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna resume following her now. <laughs> now that I've gone and dicked around in Mount Battle for like ten years, um, but yeah, I spent I spent a ludicrous amount of time <laughs> doing battles yesterday. Like basically my, my entire day yesterday was was playing Pokemon battles in this game, which is silly. Very, very silly. But uh, yeah, thank you all for uh, for listening to me ramble for so long. I uh, I definitely <laughs> I definitely had a lot of words to say. Um, also, I did want to th uh, quickly thank the folks in the in the Forever Lock Discord for uh, answering answering that opinion poll for me. I, I really really appreciate that. Um, I wasn't sure, basically, I, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I wasn't sure if, um, I wasn't sure if I, if I necessarily needed to, uh, just beat this game to call it a win, or, 
uh, challenge a Pokemon League to beat this game. And we decided that we'll just beat this game and call it a W, which is good. I won't dwell on that too too horribly long. Like, we, we got it locked and loaded. We know what we're doing now. Forget about getting past me. I'll protect Lady Venus from you. All right, we're going to fight Nellis. We're going to fight Nellis here in the under. The Viper and Sneasel. Okay. I think that Sneasel might be Shadow. Doesn't matter. We already got our Shadow Pokemon for this area and then sadly immediately lost it, so. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. That's how it goes. Yeah, Shadow Sneasel. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right, we'll go for the Psychic on the Viper, and yeah, we're just we're we're nice and set up. We're nice and set up. A little ancient power of the Sneasel. Suppose I could uh, I could immediately set up Protect Stall, which is what you're supposed to do. But just with all this type advantage, I just want to take take advantage of it, you know. <laughs> very good, very good. And yeah, we are we are pretty significantly over leveled at this point, and that is intentional. It was very intentional. I didn't go like crazy crazy like we're not like so out of the realm of of danger that I don't think that we'll have a, a struggle here or two but certainly we should be a lot better off than we than we have been <laughs> we have honestly this game has been very challenging for me uh, we I've it's been like I'll do I've done like a little bit of grinding here and there thinking oh like that should be enough but then every single time that I've done grinding be like all right this seems like a reasonable stopping point um, when I actually start streaming again, all of a sudden, like, everyone is immediately on par and or starting to get better than what I grinded to, and it's like, dang it. <laughs> Alright, Corsola. Corsola, you say. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. But we'll finish off the Sneasel there. That'll do it. Ooh, we got the we got the ancient power buff. I'll take it. I don't know if I necessarily need it right now, but I'll take it. <laughs> All right, we'll go for psychic, and then we will we will just set up a protect just to you know call it call it good. Ah, oh, protect is so freaking good in double battles. Protect is so freaking good in this game. I'm very very happy to have it now. And yeah, it was just it was just in the shop. Like you could just buy it. You buy as many uh, copies of it as you want for only like three thousand Poké dollars um, in in the under. So I was like, oh heck, I'm taking advantage of that. I'm absolutely taking advantage of that. <laughs> All right, cool. We should be. I think we should be good now. Um, to well, we don't have anything. I guess I'll use Stripe's turn to heal just to be safe. I also picked up a whole bunch of uh, medicine. <laughs> I, I bought a whole bunch of medicine, so we should be we should be in good shape. I, I didn't get any of these, which I'm thinking about. I probably should have gotten some paralyzed heals as well, but whatever. We we have we have medicine. We have healing items, which is good. Uh, we can probably get away with. Well, I didn't get any super potions. That I all right. Hyper potion. There we go. Come on, Jirachi, you could do it. Gosh darn it. Surf, okay. That hits both my Pokemon. Not a fan of that. It's a crit. Okay, cool. Um, come on. I need you to hit. I need you to hit that there, Corsola. Hit that there, Corsola, Jirachi. Come on. Gosh darn it. Oh, confusion. Why? Why must you be such a cruel mistress? But okay, I think I think Stripe should be able to take it out. Yeah, there we go. We're fine. We are fine. <laughs> we got it locked and loaded. But yeah, it has it has been a rough a rough morning for me. Absolutely, it has been a it has been a rough uh, <laughs> rough rough. Honestly, just last few days uh, uh, for streaming and stuff like that. I've had a lot going on. I've had a lot going on. I've I've been enjoying. It. I've been having a lot of fun with it. But it has been it has been a little bit on the rough side. Before that horrible boy can meddle anymore, I'll link up with Ian at the Shadow Pokemon Lab. Eek, eek! Oh, why did you have to chase me here? It's so unfair. Huh, <laughs> this isn't good. I can't lead them to the lab. Okay, bye. Ooh, like, of the cages, though, that feels really bad. Oh, no. 
Aha. You guys are so tricky. Oh ho ho, you're so easy to dupe. See, the key for the shadow liner is right there. You didn't think I would really let you take our train? Bah. Bye bye, and this time I mean it. Don't you dare forget about me. Uh. Okay, do I like follow her now, or do I come over here? What's going on? What's going on? Let's see here. Let's do a little bit of exploring. We got some black glasses. We already have those, so that doesn't really help us at all. And I noticed, uh, I, I did some, like, like research just to see what was available. Oh, hey, Ollie Kid's here. It's been a while. It's been a while. How's it going, Ollie Kid? Alright, cool. Uh, let's head on over yonder. You have finally seen, you have finally seen a forever lock vid. Like, you checked out, like, one of the VODs or something? That's cool. That's very, very cool. Okay, so this key is missing. Can't be operated. I don't have the key. I do not have the key. I must, I guess, I, I, I presume, like, is this going to be, like, where I walk over here and they, like, dropped it while they were running? That seems, yeah. <laughs> that seems like a Coliseum thing to do. Hey, you're doing good. I'm glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Yeah, we're playing, uh, we're playing, uh, Coliseum this time around. Playing, uh, Pokemon Coliseum. It, we're still doing the Forever Lock. Uh, but yeah, no, we're, we're, we're doing Pokemon Coliseum for the Forever Lock this time. Very cool stuff. Key is missing. Can't be operated. Okay, yeah, so we'll now we'll use the subway key. Uh, oh, right, okay. So I gotta go to this end and then use the subway key on this end. Got it. Kinda wish you told me that before I navigated the menu, but whatever. Oh man, the music in this game is such a bop. Oh, I love this track too. This is such a good track. Uh, all I can says I'm currently playing Pokemon Unite. Yeah, yeah, I saw that came out. I saw that that came. Oh, hello. Um, hold on, hold on. Out of my way, Tails. Um, yeah, I saw that came out, and everyone's been like kind of talking about it. I'm intrigued, but I, I just, I'm not really into MOBAs. So, <laughs> I uh, I don't I, I don't really know what to make of it. Um, it's I, people do seem to like it. Is it good? Would you say it's good? I'm curious. Like, what what's your take on that, Ollie kid? Yo, how's it going? Just getting off shift, huh? Wasn't Lady Venus supposed to be coming today? Hmm. I've seen your faces somewhere. That's it. The blacklist. Your lids and tails. How did you get down here? Ah, this won't do. I can't let those two get into the Shadow Pokemon Lab. Uh, 7 out of 10. Okay, so, like, decent, then. Also, they just blew up their own door. Feels bad. So, you would you would say it's just, like, sort of decent. It's not, like, blowing your mind, but it's definitely, like, play, like super-duper playable. Uh, so that's interesting. That's very, very interesting, for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. I It's free to play, right? Maybe I could check it out. But then again, I have bad experience with Pokemon and free-to-play games. <laughs> Ha! Take that and weep. You'll never be able to chase us now. Wahaha! -ha. Whoa! Don't you think that was overdoing things a little? Uh, it's a little too late now. Come on, let's get at these two, these freaking guys. <laughs> these freaking guys. Okay, yeah, free to download. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So yeah, it's got like uh, like crazy microtransactions. Then yeah. Okay, we got the main key, main gate key, which means that we can come back through. Um, <laughs> we can come back through the other side and just like take the take the proper entrance in so we will do just that we will do just that subway key use and we'll head back to the under head on out and then uh, take our motorcycle and drive it to the front of the building and it is possible to get ev uh, every Pokemon without real money so yeah no that's absolutely that's absolutely the the thing that, that they get you with um, I, I, I've mentioned this m multiple times on, on stream, but I, I played Pokemon Masters, the, the mobile game, uh, for about a year and a half. Uh, and I did I did genuinely have fun with it. I liked the gameplay. Um, I like I actually genuinely liked the, the, the gameplay. It's, it's a lot different now than it was then, but 
Uh, I thought it was actually a really fun game to play. It was it was a really good like use of like if I had like time to play it in between doing other things, I absolutely did. Um, but yeah, it's it's possible to get every sync pair in Pokemon Masters without putting in any money, but I wanted them really bad, and I I stupidly, stupidly, foolishly, stupidly uh, spent a absorbent amount of money on that game. And ever since then, it's just it's just proved it just proved that uh, playing mobile games, like playing free to play microtransaction riddled mobile games, is just not a good idea for me. Just not a good idea. It's a really bad time. Uh, it is a really risky risky scenario for me. So I, that's, that's kind of why I, I looked at Unite and I was like, that's intriguing, but I, I don't know if I'll I don't know if I'll jump on the bandwagon with that one or not. A little, a little bit hesitant. And, and like I said, honestly, I'm not really a big MOBA fan anyway, so it's also not like really jumping out on me that much. <laughs> for now, for now, Ollie Kid, I was gonna say there was there wasn't a whole lot to buy in the beginning of Pokemon Masters either, but I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, give it time, they will come up with other stuff to add to to charge you for. That's just the name of the game. That's how that's how they all start. Cause yeah, like at the beginning of Pokemon Masters, like back in like when it first came out, when I when I was playing it, um, yeah, like I think the only thing you could buy was just the gem, just the uh, the gems, the gems that are used for uh, for like rolling sync pairs, um, and that was it. There there wasn't anything else. Uh, ooh, item. See, this is why we explore. Um, there wasn't anything else, but now, like, there's all sorts of garbage you can buy in that game. Um, it, in fact, it literally, <laughs> that, this is, like, the main reason that I'll probably never play it again, frankly. Uh, aside from the fact that, you know, just, like, in, like, in principle, I don't want to play it because of, you know, it, it being a <laughs> microtransaction riddled game. Um, but another, another big reason why I probably won't ever play it again is because they freaking started charging for the ability to play the game. And by that, I mean... You can play it up to a certain extent, but they added a stamina system that was not there before. Um, it's there. It's a stamina system that's basically like you can play up until you run out of stamina, quote unquote. But once you're out of stamina, you you just can't play the game. You just cannot play battles in the game without your stamina bar having some juice. But you can always use real money to refill your stamina bar ooh and that that's infuriating that's absolutely infuriating i will never play that game again <laughs> i will never play it again uh ollie kid says i'm starting up a competitive game ooh nice nice i hope you enjoy i hope you enjoy all these buttons let's see we got through the main gate what's what's here can't get through here. We need a card key for that. There's a key slot. Um, does it, does it, any of these keys do the trick? No. Uh. Hmm. What do? What do? So many keys. So many keys that we need. Um. We got through the main gate, and that's good and all, but what good does it do us? I don't remember how to actually get into this shutter. Um, did I miss something maybe back at the under? I did pick up that U disc. I could go see what that brings us to. Uh, in the under, I guess I guess that's what I'll do. I have no idea what to do to actually progress here. I may have to break out the guide at some point, theoretically. As, as I mentioned in yesterday's stream, uh, my memory after the Dakim fight is incredibly blurry in this game. Alright, cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, let's go back, up, back out this way. We'll take the, uh, the UFO back over here and then use the U-Disc. And see what happens. Oh, it... Does it, it's probably just gonna take us to that item over there, right? But maybe that item is a key? Maybe? That'd be nice. Uh, yeah, okay, so... U-disc. Use that. Use the U-disc. Upward direction, board now, okay. Oh, so we're going up. 
I didn't realize. I thought we were going to go in like a U shape. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going upward. All right, let's see this. What we got here? Oh, wow. Okay. Hello. What we have here? A uh, time flute. Uh, okay. I didn't realize you get like multiples of those. That's interesting. Very interesting. Also weird. Why would they have a time flute? That's bizarre. <laughs> That's bizarre from like a lore perspective. I didn't realize there was more, more than more than one. Crazy. Um, but yeah, so let's figure out where the heck we're supposed to go here. Um, I might, I might break out the guide just kind of preemptively. I think that's probably a good plan. Um, yeah, let me, let me do that real quick. Pokemon Coliseum. We'll, we'll see what we can, can do from this point. Oh my god, this guide is very, very elaborate. It's like talking about all the Coliseums that we could go to and fight if we wanted to, which I did. I am not even going to mess with, frankly. Not even going to mess with. <laughs> it's not important to me at all. I just want to play the story. Wow, there's a lot you can do, though. Holy cow, there's a lot of like side quests and stuff you can do. Um, let's see here. Come on. Come on. Where where are we at? Where are we at here? Come on. Show me the, uh... Show me the plot here. Oh my god. It's taken forever. It's taken forever to scroll through this guide. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. This guide is very, very elaborate. Okay. Supposed to do like Mount Battle and stuff like that too. Good God, good God! I'm not trying to complete the game. I just want to freaking figure out what to do next. Okay, follow Venus. Yeah, down here. There's the subway. There's the. Okay, got it. Blows up. Main gate key. Um, oh come on, God! They really, they really go way into, way in depth here. Um, oh my God, it's like buried in here. This guide sucks. <laughs> this guide really sucks. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. This has got to be so boring to watch. I'm so sorry. I just want to know where to progress, and it's showing me every battle in the entire stinking game that you can do. Okay, here we go. Good lord. Uh, sorry for the play. Okay, got it. Main gate key in hand. Now infiltrate. Okay, here's the shutter switch. Okay, got it. I figured it out. We know what's going on now, my lord. My lord, okay, yes, yeah, so that little room off to the side is where we can activate the freaking shutter. Got it. Got it. Use the F disc. Let's go forward, my word. My word, that was, that was way too much just to find out I had to hit a button. <laughs> that was way too much reading. Yeah, this guy, this guy that I pulled up is like... It just goes like the full play-by-play -play for the entire game. Like if you want to go do, do like all of the Colosseum battles, all of the, like catch all of the shadow Pokemon, like, you know, what team you should or shouldn't use against each of the difficult fights in every Colosseum, Phenac Colosseum, Pyrite Colosseum, Under Colosseum, like, holy cow, holy cow. That's not what I'm after. I just want to play the story. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's run run our way back to the Shadow Pokemon Lab. That's what we want. That is what we want. 
Okay, so yeah, we come back in here, go in that little room with all the colors. And yeah, we hit this button here. Hit the shutter switch, that's what we want. Very cool. And then this will open and then we can do the dang thing. Okay, we have a nice PC. Very nice. Um, take a look around, see if we can find anything cool. We got some items. We got some PP ups. I'll take them. I will take them. And then we'll run over here. Honestly, I might increase some of, uh, might increase Kecleon's ancient powers. That's actually, that could actually be potentially useful. Oh man, they're going ham on that piano, huh? <laughs> yeah, the music in here is, in this game is just so jazzy. This is discrimination. Why do they single me out for all these extra assignments? They're still packing left for the move out of this lab. Uh. Oh, who are you? You're suspicious, therefore you must be intruders. Okay, well, we're gonna fight Researcher Myron. The Voltorb and a Voltorb. This is this is a, this is my preferred pair, frankly, at this point. I think that they play really well together. I was using them like crazy in Mount Battle, the uh, Jirachi and Kecleon pair. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and go for we'll go for Psychic and Protect. So yeah, for the for the oh, uh, Ollie Kid won! Congratulations, congratulations! Is it like the sort of thing where like, because I know that you're fighting against a lot of people online in Unite, right? Uh, is it is it the sort of thing where like there's only one winner? You got MVP. See, I don't know. I don't know necessarily what that means. I mean, obviously, most valuable player. But uh, yeah, as I was gonna say, did you like? Is is it like there's there is one? There's five winners. Okay, I see. I see. Are you guys on a team? I I really don't know anything about the game. I've seen like the visuals a little bit, but like aside from that, I have no idea about the game. All right. So we will go ahead and ancient power at this point. Yeah, no, well, either way, congratulations, though, Ollie Kid. Well done. Very well done. What did I do to deserve this? Teams of five in competitive online. Okay, cool. So you, like, team up with other players. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, hello. What do we have here? One card key, what a coinkadink. Oh, that's the card key. Now we can get into the lab. Yay. Yes, we can. All right, let's go down here. Uh, oh, this is, yeah, okay. I see. I see, well, we'll take the elixirs. Very nice. Very good items. Uh, we are also due for a shadow Pokemon here in the lab, uh, in incidentally. I think that there's more than just Ian's Raikou, uh, which we do not need because we already have Raikou. Um, yeah, we already had Suicune and Raikou uh, from our from our Pokemon Crystal playthrough, I believe. Um, the only the only legendary beast we actually needed uh, was uh, Entei, and we've botched that sadly. So what you gonna do? What you gonna do? We'll get Entei some other time. Speaking of uh, of Entei, Suicune, and Raikou, though, uh, the question of the day today. Question of the day today is, which is your favorite legendary beast between Entei, Suicune, or Raikou? Uh, definitely let me know in the chat which one which one is your favorite. Um, I'd, I'd definitely be intrigued to hear. And appear to open from this side. Yeah, I remember getting lost in this this area quite, quite a bit when I was younger. Quite a bit indeed. Do you fight? Okay, we can dump this data. Now let's see. Uh, quit annoying me, you'd better get ready, or Master Ian will- Huh? Wah, wow, you too, you're not lab staff. You do have Pokemon, good. Lethko. So you sound like a multi, uh, multi industry billionaire of, of the great company Lethko. Uh, all I says Raikou is a bit bland and Entei is much better, but Suicune is the best. Wonderful. Yeah, no, uh, Suicune's pretty cool. Suicune's pretty cool. Um, I think, honestly, I think 
Raikou might be my per well, I do like Entei a lot just because of the movie. I don't know, it's actually a really hard question for me. <laughs> I won't lie, it's a it's a it's a difficult difficult question to ponder for me because I do I do like them all for different reasons, but I think I think for me it, it is between either Entei or Raikou personally. Uh, although I definitely see the appeal in Suicune for sure. It is a very cool Pokemon. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm tentatively going to say Raikou, though. I think. I, I do have very fond, fond, nostalgic memories of Entei, though, just from watching the third Pokemon movie. It was a good one. It was a good one. I enjoy that movie a lot, actually. It's better than the second Pokemon movie, which is still decent, but not nearly as good as the first one or the third one. <laughs> Okay, so we will Psychic. Ah, let's Psychic the Magnemite. I know it's resisted, but we'll just try and see how much damage that does. We'll protect again with Stripe. See if we can't waste some of their moves. That's kind of the name of the game from this point forward is stall out with Protect where we can and just like make their make their moves invalidated. It's good stuff. Oh, we're so close to Doom Desire. So close to Doom Desire. It'll be great. Paralyzed. Feels bad. Psychic. And we'll just go for a secret power. Good damage. Good damage there. Very nice. I mean, yeah, we are pretty substantially over leveled, so I guess that does make sense. I spent stupidly long in Mount Battle. Just honestly, like, it got to a point. Like, I wasn't necessarily planning on getting all the way to almost level 50 across the board. Um, I mostly just really wanted to get those Poke Coupons so that we could get better moves. I wanted that so badly. So incredibly badly. Let me go heal real fast, just because that paralysis is going to be annoying. That paralysis is going to be quite, quite annoying. Um, sorry, let me get my things back up here. Okay. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. Which, oh, there's not a healing station here. There was a PC, right, in that other room. I guess we could just do it that way. PCs in Gen 3 are basically healing stations as well, because if you just drop your Pokemon and then pick it back up, it's fully healed, so it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. There we go. Beautiful. A little clunkier than just hitting a healing station, but we're all healed up. the elevator we go i love that uh that uh, i guess tails in this case will like she like follows you into the elevator and then like apparently they decide to switch places mid elevator ride which is kind of funny it's kind of funny visually that they swap places on the on the next on the next floor <laughs> the down st key is need oh so many keys so many stinking keys okay cool we'll, we'll go over this way then i guess Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, intruder alert. Let's go. It's Cypher Peon Cole. Do you have a shadow Pokemon I can have? Oh god, is it Apalm? Is it Apalm? Every time I see a Johto Pokemon at Coliseum, I'm just like, oh no, that might be the shadow Pokemon. That might just be it. That may, in fact, just be it. It is... It absolutely is. Um, I do, in fact, believe that this is our encounter um, because we, I think we lost, uh, I think we lost an Ambi Palm at some point. That's unfortunate because I'm, I'm really trying to get Pokemon for, um, I'm really, really, really trying to get Pokemon for, oh wait, no, we didn't lose the Ambi Palm. We still have Gertrude. Am I crazy? I, for some reason, I thought we lost an Apalm. No, we still have Abu and Gertrude, at least according to the to the Discord. So yeah, no, we don't need to catch the Apom then. For some reason, I was thinking that we used one and then it like died. Why do I think that? That's weird. It's weird that I think that, but okay, no, never mind. Never mind. We did. We we do not have to catch it. We have already we have already acquired uh, such things, so we are we are good to go. Um, 
Real quick, I unfortunately, I have just realized uh, my, my headset just beeped at me uh, to let me know that it is dying. So I need to quickly snag a charger for it and plug that in. Uh, I'm going to go on standby for just a second here, you guys. Bear with me. <laughs> I appreciate all your all you guys' patience with me today. It's it's a it's a rough morning. Uh, I will I will be right back. Okay, my apologies, I have returned. Um, oh gosh, the sound though. Uh, well, you guys can hear it just fine. Uh, okay, cool. No, okay, no, sorry. It was, it, I just accidentally uh, muted my, my own volume. I was very confused for a second. I was like, what's going on? Uh, no, we're good. Okay, so so yeah, sorry about that. I, I, I am all plugged in now, so we're good to go. Um, we are going to, yeah, we don't have to catch a Zapalm, uh, as it turns out. I, for some reason, was thinking that we had already, we had lost an, an Ambipalm or an, or an Apalm, but we did not. We did not. So, yeah, we can just comfortably, comfortably just remove this, uh, this Apalm from this field and not even feel sad about it. We do not need it. We do not need it. Yeah, no. Honestly, at this point, you guys, I am kind of desperate to get more Pokemon in Gen 3 because we're running so incredibly low on them. <laughs> we are running so incredibly low on, on Pokemon. Jirachi hits level 50, learning Doom Desire. Very, very cool. Goodbye, Swift. Thank you for your service. Um, I did actually take advantage of Swift quite a few times during uh, training, but uh, that is okay. We, we want the Doom Desire. We want it, want it, want it. Okay, you're gonna make it rain. Making it rain, I see. Yeah, we will we'll keep an eye out for a different Pokemon. I don't think, I think at this point, we're gonna start basically having pretty decent Pokemon, um, like, that we're gonna be fighting. I, I don't think it really gets any sort of, like, not good <laughs> at this point. Um, and I guess the, the point I'm making here is that I think it's doubtful we'll get a sixth team member. I, I think it's very, very doubtful that we'll get a Pokemon that's capable of evolving twice this late into the game. It's possible, just not very likely. Not very likely at all. I know that once we get to Realgum Tower, we could potentially recat, like we have another opportunity to catch Shadow Pokemon that we missed. Um, but I don't know if any of them are going to meet the qualifications that we need for a sixth team member. But either way, I do want just generally more Pokemon available to us in Gen 3 for future playthroughs because we're our Gen 3 bank is the small it's the smallest amount of Pokemon that we have between any of our banks. It's running very very low. We've lost way too many Pokemon in this playthrough to the point where it's 
we're hardly, aside from like the items, like having good items to start with, we're hardly going to have much of a decent advantage uh, next time we play Gen 3, just because, you know, typically the, the advantage comes from having a bunch of cool Pokemon to use immediately, and we have like no Pokemon to use. We have like a small handful. I would like to get more Pokemon in Gen 3, for sure. Okay, what do we have down here? Hello. Hey now, you're not supposed to be in the lab without your lab coat. Wait a minute, your faces aren't familiar. Intruders? Maybe, Odd Lao. Maybe we are. But I'll never tell. Electrode and Magneton. Yeah, it doesn't seem like any of these researchers have Shadow Pokemon. I think it's just the, the Cypher, Cypher Peons that have them. Uh, we could also probably stop with Jirachi. <laughs> I know that spamming spamming uh, Psychic is fun, but we can probably we can probably cut that out now. Oh, bam! Yeah, no, we're so we're so we're. It's weird. Uh, it seems like the levels have sort of scaled back a little bit. We're got, like dipping back into the 30s, which is weird because like I think it was like all 40s when we were in the under when we were fighting like Venus and like her goon. Um, so yeah, very very interesting uh, level curve there. Okay, thunder, thunder. Okay, okay. Well, we'll um... ooh paralyzed. Of course we are. Of course we're paralyzed. Why wouldn't we be? Um, yeah, let's, let's, I guess just, just try and stay in and finish you off. Get rid of Magneton. Um, we'll, I mean, I mean, all right, we'll just protect, I guess. But it failed. Thunder, missed. Thunder, missed again. <laughs> nice. Psychic. Very good. Decent damage. Finish it off. Uh, and we'll use Stripe's turn to actually paralyze heal, just so we can, like, kind of guarantee that. Just so we can kind of guarantee that. Where? Yeah, paralyze heal. There we go. Very good. The Magneton out. And then you Thunder. If you paralyze me again, I will, I will be kind of pissed. I will be kind of pissed. Oh my god. Alright, fine. You want to play that game? Well, we'll just full restore. See see if I care. See if I care. Gosh darn it. I, Thunder does not have a high chance for that either, so that's really frustrating. <laughs> that's really frustrating. RNG has not been on my side lately. Not at all. That's okay. We're making it. We're making it happen. We're making it happen. Making progress. We're gonna get through the Shadow Pokemon Lab completely unscathed. I can feel it. Okay, so let's. We got. We got our two 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 boys here up to uh, up to level 50. So very good. Let's go ahead and swap things around here. We'll get Q-Tip out, and we'll get. Actually, let's put Q-Tip out first, and we'll put Sackboy out. Okay, we got what we got here. We got the the DNA sample. Okay, very good. Yeah, I, rem I remember this bit. We have to get several DNA samples to open a door later on. Yeah, it like fully encourages you to explore this location. So your lids, aren't you? The words that you've been wreaking havoc with our plans. You seem kind of special, Corin. Do you have a uh, shadow Pokemon for me, maybe? Nope, just more Magnemites and Electrodes. Okay. Okay then, I guess. That boy should be able to handle these things for the most part, no problem. Um, we'll dragon breath the electrode, and we will, uh, we will, I guess, vital throw. Uh, it'll go last, but it's something. Thunder. Critical hit.
Alrighty then. That's, uh... That's only a couple of hours of my life that I'll never get back. Just to, uh... Just to have Sackboy there immediately go down to a critical hit. That is, uh... I'm not gonna lie. I am very, very salty right now. <laughs> I spent... I mean, like, every single one of these Pokemon I spent hours grinding yesterday. And, um... I gotta say, not even getting to land a hit <laughs> with Sackboy after leveling him up. Not even be able to land a hit on stream due to a critical hit is, uh, that's something else. That's, that is something else. I am, I am a salty Sandra, let me tell ya. Alrighty then, well we're moving on. <laughs> we're moving on from that. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull Makuita off of the layout. Sorry, you had to go down that way, Sackboy. I'm definitely not incredibly uh, enraged by that. Definitely not. I'm definitely not fully enraged by that. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, uh, let's go to layers. I, um, I really don't, I don't know, I, I have no words. I have no words. Critical hit. Critical hit, <laughs> I guess is the only words I have. Thunder, are you gonna critical hit too? God, that does so much damage. Man, I guess I, guess I just can't use these Pokemon like I want to. It sucks because I did spend so much time grinding them up, but I just, they seem to not be really doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start not using them as much. The, the weaker Pokemon, just in general, I mean. Ah, uh, that's very, very unfortunate. Alright, well, we're just gonna swap to Jirachi at this point. We're just gonna do it. <laughs> I hate spamming the Jirachi, but at this point... At this point, what are we gonna do? I need to also update the death counter. Hold on, 94 deaths. There we go. 94 deaths. Feels extra bad. Make sure to record that real fast so that I can update the Discord. Okay, yeah, one death. Yeah, and I'll make sure that that gets fixed up in our in our brand new Discord uh, that we we got put together a few weeks ago or a week ago or so. Oh boy, that is uh, that. I'm not gonna lie, I am. Pretty salty still. I am pretty dang salty about that. <laughs> Holy cow. That's okay. That's okay. We'll make it we'll make it work. Uh, the only Pokemon that we can actually add to the team to replace it is the Why Not. So Grad and the Why Not. What uh what else can can be done? I will, I will go grab the Why Not. Obviously, I'm going to have to grind it up. I will probably, once again, just handle that off screen. I'll just pop it into the party for now and, you know, just rock out from there. What can one do? Magnemite out of here. There we go. Here we go. Get out of my hair, you jerk. You didn't have any good shadow Pokemon for us. Darn it. Oh man, I'm so mad. I'm still mad. Uh, I, I usually, when it comes to Nuzlocks, I'm, I'm the type of person who doesn't usually get, like, upset. I, I, it's, it's just not something that, I, like, when I, when I lose a Pokemon in a Nuzlocke, I'm usually pretty, like, uh, graceful about it, I think. Or at least, I like to think I am, anyways. Like, I, like, I'm sad, of course, I'm, like, kind of bummed out, but, like, I'm usually pretty easily about, like, moving along from it, no problem. The issue is that, like, it's been rampant lately. Like, I am starting to get worn down by just how often I've lost Pokemon for garbage reasons. Just absolute garbage reasons. 
Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm just starting to get a little bit, uh, a little bit frustrated. It's been like a, ever since we played, we, we were playing Pokemon Silver uh, before this, and we got the, the double crit. We got two crits in a row that is basically the entire reason we lost that run. Um, and just like ever since then, I feel like it's just been non-stop critical hit nightmare situations where it's just like, I would have been fine, but just RNG decided that I wasn't. So, you know, feels real bad. Yeah, we're going to add because to the team we, uh, because we have to. <laughs> like, we literally have to. It's the only Pokemon we can add. Uh, oh, I need to pull the black belt off. Hold on. Hold on. Um, luckily, because was in the daycare for a while, so it's not that far behind, thankfully. So the grinding shouldn't be too bad, but it's also a why not. So it's not exactly something that's going to be particularly useful in battle either way. It's definitely just going to be the kind of Pokemon that just sits on the team um, and does its thing. But, you know, whatever. Alright, goodbye, Sackboy. I, I do apologize. You did not deserve to go out that way, my friend. Not at all. Very, very sad, but that's the Nuzlocke for you. Goodbye, Sackboy. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, because you're just going to chill, uh, we're going to focus on, on these other guys right now. Uh, we're going to give... Let's see. We're going to give... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm at the PC. I'll just use the PC, PC trick real fast. Um, and, yeah, that that's uh, that's rough. Oh, I guess I should add why not to the layout, huh? Okay, I'll do that. Why not? Into slot four. There we go. We got a why not. <laughs> okay. And then... I don't know if you actually took damage or not, but just in case. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's -a go. All healed up. Yep. Okay, cool. Let's proceed. We we have the uh, down I, uh, down straight, I guess. Down down street. I don't I don't know what the ST is supposed to stand for in this case. Down Saint. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we we got the key that we need, so we can uh, we can head south from here. Exactly what we want. Yay, more keys. Look how many freaking keys we have in our in our bag right now. Absurd. Quite absurd. Hello. Ooh, do you have a shadow Pokemon? Do you have a shadow Pokemon for me? I like to catch Pokemon. Nuzleaf and Carvana. Uh, maybe? A Carvana kind of feels interesting to me. I know there's a shadow Carvana in XD, but I don't know if there's one in Coliseum. I do not recall. Nope, none of these. None of these. Okay, well we can't we can't use psychic, but we can always doom desire. We we shall doom desire the Carvana. Well, hold on. Let's doom desire the Nuzleaf, and we will fly on the Carvana. That works. Okay, scare we face. That's a scary face. Uh, wait, how does Doom Desire work again? I thought I thought it was something else. Hold on. What am I what am I thinking of? Temporarily stops the crowd from growing. Oh wait, ha! <laughs> I read the contest ability. Lol. Uh, summon strong sunlight to attack two turns later. Got it. Got it. Uh, well, I guess we'll just double team. Fly hits for massive damage on Carvana. Very good. Three turns. Got it. Got it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit fuzzy for me. I, you know, not gonna lie. Don't use Jirachi all that often. <laughs> it does not come up very often. So, I guess you can't blame me too harshly for not remembering how it actually works. Ooh, Hound Tower. That is a bad time. I don't want to deal with that. But let's get that on out of here. Faint attack. Um, I'm gonna double team again, and then we will. 
I guess Dragon Breath the Hound Hour. I think I don't think a fire like even if it has like fire blast, I think we'd probably be fine. Famous last words, I suppose, but well, okay, well we'll just Dragon Breath the Hound Hour, get it out of our face either way. <laughs> that works for me. Works for me. Okay, Murkrow, that seems like it's probably a Shadow Pokemon, yeah? Yeah, it definitely is. Definitely, definitely is. Do we have a Murkrow? I don't feel like we do. I do not feel like we have a Murkrow. We do not. Okay, so yeah, we, we want that Murkrow. <laughs> we definitely want to acquire that Murkrow. Um, there's Doom Desire, and that will kill. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, so now let's um, set up another double team, because why not? Um, uh, does Dragon Breath kill? At 43? Maybe not. I I'll take a chance. Go for Dragon Breath. Maybe we'll get the paralysis. I don't think it'll kill. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. We're fine. And it got the paralysis. Very nice. But yeah, we can catch this Murkrow. So yeah, this will be our this will be our Cipher Laboratory uh, encounter. Uh, very, very nice. We'll, we'll snag ourselves a Murkrow. And we will throw a ball now. Um, let's go, let's go with, uh, Pokeball. Will Pokeball work? Might as well try and use these while we can, right? Um, and then I guess we'll just double team with Q-Tip. Stay in that ball there, Murkrow. You know you want to. Aw, rats. Rats! Come on, be cool. I think faint it has faint attack, right? That's what it's been using. I think that uh, has guaranteed, like, always hits. They just keep landing the nightshade. Kinda of crazy. Hey, Casper is here. Uh, I'm sleepy. Oh no, wake up, Casper. Wake up. <laughs> How's it going? Good to see you. Uh, we're off to an interesting start. After spending all day grinding yesterday, we still managed to uh, lose a Pokemon already, Casper. Um, so that feels extra bad. <laughs> Murkro don't want to be my friend, but I want Murkro to be my friend. I want to play with the Murkro. Alright, come on, stay in the ball, Murkro. Yeah, no, it felt really bad. We just got we got our our Makuita that I spent at least a, at least an hour, like yesterday, grinding up to like on par with the rest of the team was just instantly one shot with a critical hit. Uh, the very first battle that it did on stream, uh, which feels extra bad, feels extra bad. Yay, Murkro stays in the Pokeball. Yay. Feels extra bad. I'm a little bit bummed about it. I'm still kind of salty about it too. I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite salty about it. <laughs> but yes, cool. We got a Murkrow. We have acquired a Murkrow, which is very, very nice. Um, what do we name the Murkrow? Uh, I want to come up with a name for it real fast before we progress. Obviously, we can't name it right now, but um, we, we do want to have that prepared for when I get it purified. Um, so yeah, what's a, what's a good name for a Murkrow, you guys? Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, which actually, I need to go put the Murkrow in the box because we can't actually use it, and I don't want to risk it like getting like roared in or something like that. So let's quickly run over here to the PC, and uh, we'll deposit the Murkrow. Uh, taking any and all suggestions for for Murkrow nicknames. So definitely let me know you guys' takes. It is a girl Murkrow, female Murkrow. Darkside? Ooh, that's a pretty good name. I mean, I, I, it's spelled differently, but it uh, kind of reminds me of the D, uh, the DC character. Darkside's a cool. Darkside's cool. It is going to be a Murkrow and not a Honchkrow, to be clear. So uh, it, it will be just a name for a Murkrow. I kind of like Hat or Mr. Hat, like uh, the Ace Attorney character. Or I guess Mr. Hat could be like a South Park character, too, but... I digress. Um, I don't know, like something hat related would be cute. Be kind of cute. Um, all right, 
Uh, da -da 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 -da. yeah, we'll just stay out with this team, I think. Remember that we have to get all of the DNA samples. Darkseid's a, not a horrible name, though. I'm, I'm keeping that in mind. I know it won't be a girl boss. We'll have to wait until we get the, the actual Honchkrow for that. One day. One day we will have girl boss. <laughs> I actually kind of like that girl boss as like a name for a Honchkrow. That's, that's cute. That's cute. Maybe, maybe if we get... Ooh, Fortress though. Oh, that would have been cool. That would have been really cool. That's okay though. That's okay. Um, Psychic and Dragon Breath. Let's just like double up here on the Fortress, I think. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe we name the Murkrow Girl Boss anyway. And then we can name... Like if we get a male Honchkrow, we can name it Boy Boss. That'd be kind of funny. It'd be kind of funny and cute. I like that little naming scheme. Yeah, maybe I will, maybe I will take that. I think I'm going to take that <laughs> Casper and actually use it. <laughs> Girl boss, that's cute. That's kind of cute. Lord, was so tanky. Ooh. Okay, we're fine. We are doing fine. Can I just say that I'm like mildly amused that like I know that you can get an Altaria in Pokemon Coliseum like normally there's a Shadow Swablu, but it, it, it amuses me slightly that we are using Altaria but that it is not the um it is it is not the Shadow <laughs> the Shadow Swablu from this game it is a it is a Swablu from Sapphire <laughs> it's kind of funny yes it will be a girl boss now yes uh, thanks thanks to your kind contribution uh, it will in fact will in fact be a girl boss. Take down. Okay, we can we can eat that right up. Very good. Alright, then we will we will have a uh, psychic on the Swablu and finish off the Pupitar with a Dragon Breath. Oh, you know what I should be doing, actually? I should probably give Why Not the experience share, yeah? Would probably help uh, speed things up, huh? Maybe I'll do that. Maybe we'll do that after this battle. Not a horrible idea. Pupitar goes down. Very nice. Oh yeah, uh, today's question of the day, Casper. Um, today's question of the day is, uh, who do you like best between Raikou, Suicune, and Entei? Uh, who's your favorite legendary beast? Would love to hear. Would love to hear your your response. Uh, our good friend Ollie Kid uh, likes Suicune the best. I, I I think that I'm partial to Raikou, uh, although I was wavering about Ra Raikou versus Entei. So yeah. Uh, Casper says, love seeing the level 50 Jirachi since it was level 5 yesterday. I know, right? I grinded for a stupid amount of time. <laughs> I grinded for like six and a half hours at least. I don't, I actually lost track of time after a certain point. I just stopped paying attention. Um, but yeah, like it was, it was absurd. It was absurd how much grinding I did yesterday. It's like basically all day. Right, I just want to go. We go heal up real fast. Okay, and then Altaria. Beautiful. Alright, and then yeah, I will give why not the uh the experience share. That is a good plan. Good plan. Experience share, where are you? Very good. Give Experience share. I actually found another experience share. Uh, I think it was in uh, Agate Village, um, in a, just in a box that I found on the ground while I was while I was off stream. Uh, but it was like, yeah, you know, like who cares? Because I already had the experience share from uh, Sapphire, so we were not all that worried about it, frankly. But that's okay. That's okay. Let us progress here. Uh, Casper says, "I'm very fond of Raikou. Yeah, Raikou's cool. Raikou's really cool, and it feels like the it feels like the niche ones. It's it's the only one of the three that didn't get its own movie. Um, so yeah, it feels it feels like extra cool in that regard. 
it was just like, oh, I, this is my, my cool subversive take. Raikou is cool because it did not get its time in the limelight. I mean, not that that's necessarily a reason to pick something, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It kind of has a certain degree of mystique in that regard. Rhyhorn and Aria. Is this the Shadow Ariados that I have been theorizing for a while? Is this the Shadow Ariados, I wonder? It sure is, because sure as heck not the Rhyhorn. Yep. Yep, Shadow Ariados. We do not need to catch it, because we already caught our uh we already caught our Pokemon for this area. So we will just we will just kill it. Ooh, nice nice in one shot on the Rhyhorn. Honestly, if that were a Shadow Rhyhorn, it would have been uh I mean if we could have gotten a Rhyhorn, that would be cool. Rhyhorn is weirdly a Pokemon that is capable of evolving twice. It doesn't seem like it should be, but it definitely is. <laughs> Uh, so it could have been something to add to the team were we able to somehow acquire one. But I think I think we actually already have a Rhyhorn, if I remember right. So, I digress. Grovile, you say. Grovile, catch the Psychic, and uh, I guess just the Dragon Breath, too, is fine. We'll probably do the trick. Yeah, no, uh, uh, you mentioned, Casper, that we got up to the 50s. Yeah, I, I wanted to play it very carefully because of how lackluster our team is right now. So I went hard. I went hard on the level ups, and then on top of that, I spent maybe a little bit more time than I needed to doing more mount battle fights, simply because I wanted to get Poke coupons to buy good TMs. Like I bought like double team and stuff like that, uh, and like Psychic for our Metatite, which is in hindsight kind of lame now because I don't have a. Uh... <laughs> I don't actually I have much intention of using Metatite now that I've seen just how much damage it takes from strong stuff in this game now. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. I do not know. Full Restore. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Wait, wait, was, there, was there like no point to this room or... Doesn't seem to be anything here. Can't interact with any of these machines, can I? Yeah, no, there's like nothing to interact with. What was the point of this room? Okay, whatever. Whatever. Um, that's... Okay, yeah, so let's go over here. Sweeties, you've caused enough mischief already. I think we haven't caused enough mischief, Taney. Or mi mis mis not mistress. Oh my, oh my, I don't know where my mind's at. Uh, <laughs> mischief. There we go, that's the one. Uh, Casper says, oh, lol, I forgot I have an Entei plush, uh, but still Raikou is my fave. Oh, that's cool that you have an Entei plush, though. That's really cool. I have I have a lot of obscure Pokemon plushies, frankly. I have, like, I have some weird ones. I have some, like, actually really weird ones. I have, like, Chargebug, <laughs> which is really funny to me. <laughs> when I saw it, I had to have it when I saw Chargebug back when it was, it was, like, back when Sun and Moon came out. Um, yeah, no, I saw that and I was like, I absolutely have to have a charge of bug plush. I'm working towards, I, I've, I've mentioned before that my, my, my top six favorite Pokemon are Audino, Hitmontop, uh, Pig Knight, uh, Steeny, Smeargle, and Gengar. Not necessarily in that order. Um, those are my favorite Pokemon. I want to have a plush of all of them. Right now I have a plush of... Audino, Pig Knight, and Hitmontop. Uh, but I want to get plushes of Steeny, Gengar, and Smeargle. I do not have plushes of them, and I want them. I want them! But, uh, all in due time. All in due time. I, I'm sure that there's Gengar. Like, I've seen Gengar play. It's actually kind of weird that I don't have Gengar, because <laughs> he's so he's such a popular Pokemon. Um, but yeah, I need to get a Gengar. Um, and then... Uh, I know that Smeargle has a sitting cutie, so I'm probably going to try and get one of those eventually. And then I did verify Steeny does have a plush. Uh, it's it's out of print, or like it's like out of like production or whatever, but it's available on eBay for kind of expensive, and I kind of want it. <laughs> I kind of want that plushie. I love Pokemon plushies. I don't necessarily like collect them per se, but I do have a lot of them. 
I don't like go out of my way for them, but like if I have like extra money here and there, I have been I have been known to just pick up a pick up a plushie and just be happy about it, put it on my shelf. It's kind of nice. My mischief has gone overboard. See, I still don't, I think we're still lacking in the mischief department, frankly. I think that we could be contributing more. Uh, nothing over here. Alright, we got two elevators this time. Let's take the one on the left, shall we? What do we have here? Hello? Oh, what? What's an outsider doing here? Why isn't security doing their job? There's security? <laughs> Is there, like, actually security? I have seen no indication, unless you're implying that the cypher peons are security, which, in which case, yeah, they're pretty pathetic. Pretty darn pathetic. I gotta say, I am getting relatively tired of these freaking magnetons because they're irritating and and bulky. Get him! Rain dance? Oh, for the thunder. Got it. I was like, why do you have rain dance? That's bizarre. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. They're trying to set up. Uh, they're trying to set up thunder. See, I can, I can get... Oh, really? That didn't kill? Oh, that feels bad. Oh, that feels real bad. And yeah, thunder, thunder's guaranteed in the rain, so... <gasps> oh, no! No critical hit! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! We don't play that game! We don't play that game! Absolutely not! We are not losing the Altaria! I would be beyond pissed! <laughs> I would be beyond pissed! Um... No. I say no. Jirachi, Psychic the Magneton. Q-Tip, have a full restore. <laughs> My word. I was about to be so upset. I was about to be so stinking upset. There we go. None of that garbage. Absolutely none of that garbage. Get out of here, Magneton. I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion the Electro is going to drop a Thunder now, too. But no critical hits. I'm so tired of critical hits. Everything I've lost in, like, the last, like, six Pokemon has been to, due to critical hits, and I'm tired of it. No more! Okay, cool. Oh my god, with the paralysis, I'm really losing my patience with that. <laughs> I'm really losing my patience with the really horrible RNG lately. Ugh. Oh, I'm getting mad. I'm getting real mad. Okay, get out of here, Electrode. Okay, that's fine. Don't paralyze me. Thank you. Okay, Jesus Christmas. Get the Electrode out. Because hits 39, very nice. Uh, Alright, let's... I'm gonna Hyper Potion. Uh, actually, let's use Q-Tip's turn to do that. We will Psychic the Ampharos. Um, psychic the Ampharos, and then we will Hyper Potion Jirachi. That should do. That should do just nicely. Get him, Jirachi. Okay, not quite enough to kill. Uh, what I was going to say is I do like that I do like that Colosseum is sort of set up in a way that it's tr it's specifically trying to teach you how to play like actual competitive double battles correctly. Like the, their their move sets are specifically catered to like actual competitive meta from the time, which is really cool. Uh, they've never they they've never really given much of a care like Pokemon Company has really never given much of a care for like com the competitive aspects of Pokemon. They just sort of half-ass them usually. So it's it's just kind of cool, kind of cool. It's a cool game. Coliseum and XD are really really cool games. I like them a lot. Hence why I wanted to include them in the Forever Lock Challenge, even though they're not quite as traditional as you know the other 
the other 28 games that we uh, we play when we play the Forever Lock. There we go. There we go. Kotan goes down. Not without scaring the bejesus out of me first, but I digress. Nope, can't do it because, I'm sorry, you're a why not. You're a why not. You have to stay a why not. Spooked me for a second. I totally forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Oh dear. Wahaha, <laughs> now you're stuck. There's no escaping the lab for you. Rude. Also, you just so happen to be standing next to an alarm. That feels bad. Um, okay, cool. Let's put... Uh, let's put Stripe out. Uh, I guess we'll use full restores, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back to the PC at this point. There we go. Alright, and we'll just sort of keep going, I guess. Hello. Hi, I heard the alarm, so I came running. It's good old Remmel. Remmel's here to party with Vibrava and Kadabra. I think that Vibrava may actually be Shadow. <laughs> you can't evolve. Why not? Because. <laughs> yes, well done, Casper. <laughs> that is the joke. <laughs> that is, in fact, the joke. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's, um... Let's secret power Kadabra. I think that will actually probably do the trick, and we'll Dragon Breath be Brava. Super effective. Taken right out. Very good. Very good. The Swellow. The Swell Fellow. The Phoenix Wright Pokemon. Very cool. Alright, we, we, we tank that nice and easy. Nice and easy. Go for the secret power. Does the secret power kill? Critical hit. Certainly does. Certainly does with a critical hit. I don't know if it would have killed otherwise, but it definitely kills with a critical hit. Ooh, you got your own Kecleon, though. Alright, uh, let's secret power... Secret power Swellow and... Uh, we'll Dragon Breath Kecleon. Ooh, you're gonna fly, though. Gonna go for a quick little fly. Okay, well, now the Dragon Breath will be super effective when I use it again. So that's cool. Strength. Wow, okay. <gasps> Ooh, critical hit. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Stripe, you protect. Um... And then we're, we'll Dragon Breath the uh, Kecleon, because now it's super effective. <laughs> Very nice. Super effective. Ooh, not quite enough to kill, though. Not quite. Alright, and now... Uh, let's use Stripe's turn to actually heal. And we'll finish off the, the Kecleon with another Dragon Breath. That seems like a good sound strategy here. Yeah, Swellow can fly, that's fine. That's fine. I do, I do have a sneaking suspicion that she's gonna go for the go for Kecleon again. So we'll protect, and then we will we will Dragon Breath. That makes sense to me. Okay, decent damage. Probably gonna go for Fly again, huh? If I had to imagine, if I had to imagine, it probably will. Uh, we will just go for Ancient Power, and we'll go for a preemptive fly, I think. Yep, there's the fly. We'll fly ourselves. And then, of course, we will protect. Oh, gotta love it. Gotta love those Gen 3 protect strats what you do. <laughs> it is what you do. There we go. Q-tip, hit him. 
Very good. Alright, beautiful. Rebel goes down. Let us proceed. Proceed through this game. Do I have... The door's locked. Release the lock? Yes. Yeah, I have this, like, DNA puzzle, right? Um... Oh god, I actually don't remember how this actually works. Um, hold on. Yeah, I think we have to actually explore a little bit. Uh, the alarm is going to be really obnoxious while we're walking around and stuff. Um, yeah, I think we need to go through that other elevator real quick, and I think there's a, there's more DNA sample stuff we have to get, or like have analyzed or whatever. In the meantime, that alarm will just be going off the entire time. <laughs> How lovely. How lovely. I hope that's not too grating for you guys. Yeah, so here we go. Here we go. Uh, yeah, this machine here. Come on, how do I... DNA analyzer, yeah. We got the DNA sample. It's Krokona. It's a DNA sample of Krokona. Um, Ollie Kid says I gotta go see it. Hey, thanks for coming, Ollie Kid. It was good to have you. Good to have you. I hope you have more fun with Pokemon Unite very soon. We'll see it. We'll see you next time. Um, okay. Uh, so something to do with Croconaw then, maybe? Okay, let me speed this up a little bit. Do you say anything? Now your sex knows keeping the lab for you. So something, something to do with Croconaw. Um... The, is the password maybe just one of these? Um, gosh, I don't remember what the what the stinking password. I, I don't know if you actually need to like get things analyzed in order for it to work or not. Um, hold on, let me let me consult the guide here real fast. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Alarm. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, hey, look, a locked door. I use the information for three, three. I, I, I didn't find the other two DNA samples though. Um. Do do do. DNA sample password. I do apologize for that alarm. That's <laughs> really obnoxious. Um, let's see. The player must match these to a lock in order to unlock it. Wait, is it randomized? Oh no, that sounds horrible. That sounds horrible. You don't happen to- I, you've played this game before, Casper. You don't happen to remember how that works, do you? Do I actually have to go find the other DNA samples? We have croconaws right now. Where do I get the rest? Where do I get the rest? That is what I want to know. Um... I really don't remember how this puzzle actually works. Because there's no... I don't see any, like, flashing lights or anything like that to, like, tell me what the heck's going on. Um interact with here. This was a really useless room, so I'm just like, uh... <laughs> oh, that's so obnoxious. <laughs> that alarm is so obnoxious, oh my god. There, nothing to pick up here, no key items laying around. All we know is Krokona. Something to do with Krokona. Um, no, no DNA samples that I could find. You played it years ago, so you don't know. That's fair. 
A perfectly, perfectly fair. Um, wait, can I just walk out? Oh. Well. I'm not locked in. Like he said, that's kind of weird. Oh, alright. Well, we can just do whatever we want then, I guess. We got a DNA sample, but I don't know where the rest are, which is kind of weird. I don't know where the rest would be, or like what uh, what they would actually mean for us. Um, hmm, hmm. Let me let me consult the interwebs one one more time. Let me consult here. Uh, the answer is that the Pokemon DNA samples you found in the lab. If you didn't find them, go back and do so. Also, when you get them, go to the room with the machine in the middle of the room. Get to analyze the three elevators somewhere. And go. But I only have one DNA sample. Where do I pick up the others? I'm so confused. Get them by going through the three elevators somewhere in the lab. And go to the machine and insert the DNA samples. Oh wait, it says Crocodile Sudowoodo Raikou. But according to this person on the game facts, they don't know if that's always the case. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that just to see. It'd be nice just to have the password and not have to worry about these DNA samples. Uh, let's try that. Let us try. Did we go this way? I don't know if we... Oh, there we go. There's DNA sample. Yep, there's one. There's one of them. So yeah, I guess I just didn't fully explore like I was supposed to. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. I just want this alarm to stop because it's incredibly annoying. Oh no, this is the, the DNA room. I don't know if this is where we want to be. Let's go through here. Let's try it. Yeah, let's try Croconaw. What was it? What was it that I just said? Croc Croconaw Sudowoodle Raikou. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. That makes a sense to me. Croconaw Sudowoodle Raikou. Nope. I think I might actually have to analyze them before it will work, regardless. They're easy to overlook, it seems. Uh, fair enough, yeah, it's just because those, those little flashing lights is like the only indication that you get. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's analyze this other one here real fast. The Entei. Okay, so it is different. It's randomized, I guess. It's not the same every time. Um, but okay, so we, yeah, we have... We have we have uh, Croconaw and Entei. Uh, I guess we could just try every combination, right? Unless oh hello, I didn't come in here before. I guess this must be the, the last area. Researcher Dubrick or du Dubik wants to battle. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. This is probably where the last DNA sample is. Then <laughs> somehow I just completely overlooked this area. Oh god, the alarm is just like blaring in my head still, my word. My word. Go ahead and protect. Screech. But we protected ourselves. They just have Entei DNA lying around, says Casper. It's true. It's true. As as one does. I mean to be I mean at least in their defense, right? They did actually have an Entei. <laughs> like uh Dakim has one, so like presumably it's Dakim's Entei's DNA. But yeah, it is kinda funny. They just have like legendary DNA just kinda chillin'. Just kinda chillin'. <laughs> Alright, well Dragon Breath. Okay, there's the screech. Fence harshly fell. Another screech. Okay, that's kind of horrifying. Are you doubling up? 
You certainly are. You really, I don't like that you're trying to get my defense so low, because that means you're probably trying to rock, like, self-destruct or something. Okay, one electrode down. Try and knock out the other one here real fast. Okay, we'll protect with Stripe, and we will Dragon Breath with Electrode. Or Dragon Breath V Electrode, rather. Oh no! Q-tip, 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 Q-tip! Stripe is fine, Q-tip! Okay, Ooh, oh god, that scared me. Yeah, I had a feeling that that was the strategy he was going for, was lower lower the defense with Screech and then just explode. <laughs> I am glad that, that our Altaria is nice and meaty, nice and tanky. Um, and yeah, Stripe probably would have gone down to that, so the predictive protect was a good call. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy cow. What an ordeal. No, because you cannot, you cannot evolve. Why not? Because. <laughs> okay, cool. So, is the last DNA sample over here? Do whatever you want. It's too late now. We're finished with our research. What you're doing is futile. There we go. We got the DNA sample. Nice. Let's go figure out what that is so we can get past this bit with this annoying alarm. <laughs> Making it happen. Alright. DNA room, please. What do we have? We have Croconaw, we have Entei, and we have Quilava. Okay. So some combination of Croconaw, Entei, Quilava is what we're is what we're working with here. I presume it must be random every single time, because yeah, the, the person on the on the on the interwebs just had something completely different, so it must it must be like just fully random. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right, let's pop on over here, and we will try Croconaw, Entei, Quilava. Very good. Very good. Um, and yeah, let's let's quickly heal just so I don't have to run back. I'll use potions and stuff. Don't want to run all the way back to that PC. All right, and yeah, we'll um, we'll just continue. I, I I want to use layers, I really do, but it's just so frail, and I really don't want to lose it. I'll, obviously, I'll keep it like level. I'll keep it on par level wise where I can, but I just might not. I might not necessarily use it as much unless I'm like forced to. Ooh, Wobbuffet! Oh no, that's not good. Well, we have Toxic at least. We have Toxic on Stripe, so at least we can list, we can just time it out with the Toxic. That's good. That is very good. Um, yeah, so let's immediately get that going. And then we will Dragon Breath the Clam Pearl. Whew, okay, we got the we got the strategy, we got the game plan. I am not scared of the of the Wobbuffet as long as it can't do anything to me. It's Scrub, the myth, the man, the legend, says Casper. Absolutely. This was this was the really cool cat who had the hitmon top. Uh, and yeah, I love I love myself a good hitmon top, and I can respect I can respect a man one who is named Scrub and two who has a hitmon top. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, secret power on Clam Pearl, and I guess we'll just start setting up. Dragon dances <laughs> while we wait for Toxic to kill the Wobbuffet. Graveler. Eek. Eek. I do not like the Graveler. Mirror coat. Not worried about it. Um. Let's protect again, 
and then we will Dragon Breath the Graveler. You have Garbo Special Defense. Go down in one shot. Not quite. Not quite. Brick Break. But we protect. Very good. And you'll take your Toxic Damage. Very nice. Alright, and then we will... Um, we will... I guess just... Uh, well, no. Um, <laughs> double Protect, I guess. It's obviously probably not going to do anything for us, but yeah, I mean, just Q-Tip takes down the Graveler while we wait for Wobbuffet to go down. <laughs> we get the we get the second Protect. We'll take it. We will take it. Not that it is actually going to block anything, but, you know, semantics. <laughs> okay, Medicham. You're still still trying there, Wobbuffet, but to no avail. I will not I will not hit you. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to hit you. Uh, we'll get a toxic going on well ooh, actually. Metasham kinda scares me a little bit, just because it might have a good fighting move that could one shot stripe. And I just double protected, so there's no way I can just use protect again. I should probably switch. I should probably switch to Jirachi at this Oh, I can't, cause Shadow Tag. Erg. Erg. There's no way I can go for triple protect, that's for sure. <laughs> um, whew, this is unfortunate, actually. Um, God, I hope you don't have anything crazy strong, Metacham. Um, I guess I could double up on you and hope that we're faster. I guess that's what I have to do. Can we kill the Metacham before it drops like a high jump kick on Kecleon? Oh no. Uh no! No, it's a crit! <laughs> no! It's a critical hit! Wouldn't you know? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh boy, it's a critical hit. I don't know if it mattered, to be fair. I don't know if the critical hit mattered, but god damn it. God damn it, I'm so tired of losing Pokemon to critical hits. I'm so tired of it. Oh my god, I'm like actually crying. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. There's just more of my life that means nothing. 95 deaths and I'll take Gekleon off the layout. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I actually, it was the Metacham, Casper. It was the Metacham. I used high jump kick and got a critical hit. What can I say? Again, I don't know if it mattered, if the crit mattered or not, but it's just the principle of it. It's just, I've lost so many Pokemon to critical hits at this point, and there's just, I'm not doing anything wrong, necessarily. I'm not doing anything wrong. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't switch, because of the Wobbuffet Shadow Tag. Um, I couldn't protect because I'd already used protect. So it's just like, what can I say? I did my best. I did the best that I possibly could. Also, Jirachi's out of PP, and that feels really bad. <sighs> Just finish the Metacham. Oh my goodness gracious. I am, um, I am quite salty. I am not gonna lie. I am, I am quite, quite salty. Oh boy, oh boy. This is, um, all right. <laughs> I have more grinding ahead of me, it seems. Lots and lots of grinding. Destiny Bond, oh no. What are you, you did not. You did not just do that.
That doesn't that doesn't work, right? No, it doesn't work because of the toxic. Okay, good. I was about to be so mad. I was about to be so freaking mad. You you you're correct. Yes, this is the second time Scrub has taken out a Pokemon of ours. You're absolutely correct, Casper. <sighs> All right, let's go back to the PC. Figure out what we're gonna put on the team, I guess. Oh, I am not a happy, I am not a happy girl right now. I am not a happy girl. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like really actually, whoo boy. I am not a happy camper. Alright, well, wait, hold on, we gotta take item away. That is some Garbo. I was so happy with... This is like the one Pokemon on the whole team, honestly. Stripe was just like such an MVP for so long that just like I really wanted Stripe to get the Hall of Fame. I really, really did. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your twitchy service. <sighs> All right. Well, it was a fully evolved Pokemon, so we can add something... Uh, decent, like really decent if we want uh, a fully evolved Pokemon of our choice. Um, anything here, frankly, we can add to the team now. Um, Benet's not a horrible idea. Um, Manetric's still looking pretty nice. Um, literally, I mean, basically we could use any one of these except for probably the, the Metacham. Um... Well, uh, and yeah, probably also not the... We probably don't want the Zatu either. Uh, but yeah, Binette would be cool. Manetric would be cool. Um, oh, gosh. Um, Let's see. What gives us, like, the most benefits? We don't have a Rock or Grass type, so we could add Richard. We could have a Cradilly. That is a nice bulky Pokemon, too, so maybe Richard isn't a horrible idea. Uh, it gives us the most amount of new typing, because it's the only one here that would give us, uh, like, two unique typings, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I guess... What do you have? Do you have any moves? Hold on, let me look up moves. Astonish, Constrict, and Acid. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks a lot. What does your level up set look like? Hold on, the Leap Gen 3 Learn set. Let's take a, let's take a quick gander at that. Um, it's at level 20... Uh, it'll get Ingrain, Confuse Ray. It takes forever to get Ancient Power, but I can also use the uh, Experience Share to, you know, stall out for Ancient Power. Um, it does not get any Grass moves by level up. Um, where can I get TM19? Let's take a look. I'd have to do the Stadium. I'd have to do the Phoenix Stadium to get to get Giga Drain. Ah, uh, oh god. What do you, I, uh, you're still there, right, Casper? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Should I, should I use the Cradilly and, like, I could go do the Phoenix Stadium, like, off-screen or something, and go and get Giga Drain. I could do that. Uh, or I could just not bother with it and use a Pokemon that already has at least modestly decent moves. We could use Pelipper. Has Aerial Ace, that's kind of nice. Um, we could use... Could use you. Do you have? Did, he, did I teach you surf? That'd be really nice if I did. I didn't. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. No surf for you. Um. Manetric. Manetric is pretty good. I could get Thunderbolt. Um, Thunderbolt was one of the TMs that's at Mount Battle. If I grinded again today, I could grind out Thunderbolt if I really needed to. Um, honestly, that's that's actually sounding like not a horrible idea. Let me verify, just just to double check that I'm not crazy. Grayson is a Manetric, right? Yes, Grayson is a Manetric. Um, all right, I think. What does Dollface have? And eh, nothing particularly good, honestly. Um. I think I'm between I'm between uh, Richard or Grayson, uh, which is kind of funny because uh, <laughs> Richard is short for or is is the long form of, of Dick, and then so it's Grayson, so it's Dick Grayson. <laughs> That's kind of funny, <laughs> like uh or like Robin from from Batman. Um, 
But yeah, I, I think I'm between these two. Uh, I think those are definitely like the options. Um, I think I'm gonna go. I could get Thunderbolt. I could get a Manectric with Thunderbolt. What is uh, what is uh, freaking Manectric's level up set like? And Electric as well. Uh, Electric, do you get? You don't get Thunderbolt by level up, I don't think. I don't think you do. You get Thunder, but no, yeah, nothing, nothing super, super crazy by level up. But uh, like I said, we can get Thunderbolt, so that's not a horrible idea. Um, yeah, I think. It's a, it, it will be a lot easier for me to get Thunderbolt than it will be for me to uh, try for Giga Drain. Because I don't know how strong the Phoenix Stadium is. And frankly, I don't really want to have to look too far into it. I really have no intention of like getting into the Coliseums or Stadiums in this game. I'm just trying to like go from point A to point B. So let's let's take Grayson. We will add the Manectric to the team. And we'll have to get that grinded up. Um, but yeah, so I will... We'll add that to the team. <sighs> Man, I am really, really upset that we lost Stripe. I am really, really upset. But what you gonna do? What you gonna do? All right. So here's the game plan. We we are approaching the end of the stream, but I want to take on Ian. He's like literally right there. Like we're almost to him. We are almost to him. Um. So we are we are gonna make that happen. I'm gonna take I'm take the experience share off of you and give it to you. Oh man, our team is looking freaking bleak. <laughs> our team is looking not so good right now. Oh my god. Um. Uh, oh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're you're holding the Everstone. Okay. Yeah. Let's give you give you give the experience share. There we go. Okay, and then we are going to try and fight Ian with just a Jirachi and an Altaria. That is the game plan. It's going to be scary. It's going to be scary, but I'm going to try my best. Um, dude, does, did I give Altaria Protect? Maybe I should give Altaria Protect um, instead of Double Team. Yeah, I probably should at this point. I, I bought a whole bunch of extra Protect TMs, so... I may I may do just that. Um, okay, yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna teach Q-Tip. It it feels bad because I did go out of my way to get the double team, um, the double team TM from Mount Battle, but I think Protect is gonna be a better, a better thing to do here, frankly. So let's I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Protect. I like being able to stall while Jirachi sets up, uh, and uh, the. Jirachi's partner for that was supposed to be Kecleon, so uh, we're fully healed, right? Yep. Wait, hold on. Let me verify that we are fully healed properly. Yeah, no, you're still out of PP. Hold up. Let's go heal for real. Uh, let's go heal for real. Hold on. This is important. Go to Phoenix City. I'm gonna hit the Pokemon Center just because I can. Right. It's just right here. We'll heal up. We're gonna go fight Ian. And. Uh, <laughs> Hope for the best. I hope this isn't famous last words, but we're gonna go fight Ian, try and take him down. Once he's hopefully defeated, that then we will probably call it call it for stream after that. So that's the game plan. That is what we are doing today. And then of course <laughs> I will spend yet another full day um getting our, our our other Pokemon grinded up, our, our new additions, and also I'll get I'll make sure that our Metatite stays on par as well. Uh, that will be that will be the game plan. I will do that off stream and get them all caught up. <laughs> so in the meantime, we gotta try and solo Ian with Jirachi and Altaria and possibly Metatite if necessary. So that is what we do. Remember how to get through here. We want. We want to go here. Here we go. Over here. Down the stairs. Okay. Yeah. This. Yeah. It's. It, this is the room. I remember because like the weird coffin-shaped machines. 
Uh, yeah, this is where we fight Ian. So we are going to try our darndest. <laughs> we are going to try our darndest to fight Ian. Ooh, there's an item over here, though. Hold up. Hold up. HP up. All right, cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. Good, this disc has been scrubbed of all data. That's done it. Wah, how did you get in without my notice? Ah, oh, I see. You must be the much-talked-about Lids. Little did I expect to see you here. I am Ian. I am in charge of this Shadow Pokemon Lab. No one must be allowed to interfere with our Shadow Pokemon plan. I won't allow it. Let me acquaint you with the power of my Shadow Pokemon. Alright, Ian. Let's go. We'll do our best to try and hopefully beat you <laughs> with, with just two Pokemon. I mean, you got... Oh, you have an Altaria, too. Crazy. Well, hopefully our Altaria is better. Uh, yeah, no, so... <laughs> this has gone so poorly. I trained for so long yesterday with the idea of, like, you know, not having to worry anymore about grinding so much, and yet... <laughs> and yet, if today has been any indication for how that's gonna go... Uh, it has not been so great. <laughs> Alright. Can we get some one-shots in the house, please? Can we get some one-shots? No, nope, can't one-shot the Lantern. That's probably fine. Can we one-shot the, the, the Altaria, though? That's what I want to see. Nope, can't do that either. Feels bad. Oh, no. Oh dear. Rain dance. Okay. We are faster at least. We use Jirachi's turn to heal Altaria and then Dragon Breath the Altaria. The other Altaria and get that taken care of. Yep, we have a game plan. We have a game plan. We are faster. We have verified this. We have verified this fully. Oh god. Oh god, I am not a fan. I am not a fan of this at all. Uh, Casper says, dang, Ian, do you have a relative named Colrath? I know, he does kind of look like him a little bit, huh? <laughs> he does look a little bit like Colrath. Okay, Huntail. Alright, that's that's probably fine. Confuse Ray. Okay, so you, you've got the rain set up. Um, let's protect just to scout out what this Huntail's gonna do. And maybe we'll even... Maybe we'll even, like... Do we have full heals? Did I buy those? Maybe I didn't. Um, well, oh, actually, wait. I have the Yellow Flute. I'll use the Yellow Flute on Jirachi. That works. See what this okay, you're gonna go for confuse ray. Oh, you went for the predictive confuse ray, or is that some garbage AI plays? Wow, yeah, no, it, it is just it seems to just be some garbage AI plays where it's just like, oh, you're not confused, therefore I use confuse ray. It's kind of garbage, but all right, fine, fine then. We'll dragon breath the lantern, and we'll just risk it with the with psychic on Huntail. There we go. Breakthrough Confusion. Drop a Psychic. Not quite enough to kill Huntail. That's okay. There's Surf. Resist it with uh, with at least Altaria. Even if it is in the rain. Yeah, we're fine. Not quite enough to kill. We got the Hydro Pump. It actually lands, so that feels kind of bad. Alright, Jirachi. Jirachi's doing fine. We'll drop a full restore on it. We'll finish off Lantern, I think. And we'll use Jirachi's turn to full restore. That is the play. There's a, yeah, the predictive confuse ray. Wow, go figure. Cool game. Real cool. Okay, 
Lantern goes down. Very good. Garachi hits 52. Our right, goal bat comes out. That's an easy, easy kill for Jirachi with the Psychic, uh, if it can land. Actually, we'll even, we'll use your turn to Yellow Flute. Yellow Flute Jirachi, and then Jirachi can go for Psychic on Golbat. Yep, easy one shot. Had a feeling. Very good. Okay, here's Raikou. Here's the Raikou. Obviously, we're not trying to catch it or anything. We just need to kill it. We just need to kill it. There's the Rain Dance. I'm, I am definitely predicting Raikou to be dropping thunders like crazy. Um, so yeah, we definitely want to be be cautious of that. Okay, let's have Q-Tip go for a Protect, and we'll finish off this um, finish off this Huntail. Huntail goes down. There's the thunder. It went for Jirachi. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm feeling I'm feeling like we can we can power through this just fine. As long as there's no crazy shenanigans that come out out of nowhere. Uh, we should be good. Uh, let's go for Dragon Breath and uh, we'll also Psychic. Good damage, real good damage. Special defense drop, I'll take it. Does Dragon Breath kill? Oh, Dragon Breath might kill. Nice, nice, we don't even have to worry about the Raikou. Heck yeah, the other Pokemon gave us more of a challenge. <laughs> cool. All right, Ian goes down without, he was the, I think he was the only, he and Mirror B were the only admins where we didn't lose a Pokemon, so. Um, Good stuff. Good stuff. The last of the uh, the last of the cipher admins goes down. Very cool. <laughs> your struggle here, to, your struggle to get here was all in vain. The shadow Pokemon we produced have already been moved elsewhere. Hey, yeah, exactly, Casper. Hey, we doing good. We doing good now. <laughs> and that, of course, includes the ultimate shadow Pokemon I created for the boss. Ha ha ha. All right, well, we'll take this data ROM. Very cool. Yeah, I think we have to take that to the kids' grid down in the under. TM26, isn't that Earthquake? Just randomly get Earthquake now? Yeah, it is. It sure is. That's kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. I like that. I could give that to freaking Altaria. Not a horrible option, honestly. Um, Very cool. All right, let's um, take the elevator up. And uh, yeah, just get the hell out of Dodge. We gotta take that, um, we gotta take that data ROM to the kids grid and have them analyze it, I think, if I remember right. Um, oh, that's right, we go this way, take the elevator. Let's get out of this place. This alarm is very obnoxious. Okay, yeah, we got an email. What does the email say? Uh, lab data. Hi, this is Ned. If you find any data on the shadow po at the Shadow Pokemon Lab, please bring it to me in the under. I'll be waiting. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, that'll be that'll be our first objective tomorrow then. Um, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> what a session. Holy cow, I'm a little bit, um, I'm a little bit salty about the losses today. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> I, I literally over-grinded for hours yesterday with the idea that I would not have to do it again. Uh, but here we are, where I now have to get a Why Not and an Electric fully leveled up and ready to go for tomorrow. So um, that's going to be fun. More hours of my life to spend doing that. <laughs> Wahoo. But um, regardless, it was a fun stream today. I always have fun playing Pokemon with you guys. Always a fun time. Um, we will be back tomorrow, uh, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for some more, um, 
for some more Pokemon Coliseum Forever Lock Challenge. Um, if anyone's new here, um, is interested, definitely check out the uh, the Forever Lock Discord. You can check the panels below for that, or use the command uh, exclamation Discord. Um, and yeah, uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll have more fun. Um, we're definitely fast approaching the end of Coliseum. I don't think it will be tomorrow, but it will be soon. It, I think it's going to be either. I might have to. I might have to look into the guide and see like what all's left. Um, it's. It, I think it's going to be maximum like two more. Thank you, Casper. I appreciate that. Um, I think it's going to be maximum like maybe two more sessions, two more two more streams. So we should we should theoretically finish um, in the next couple of days with Coliseum. So yeah, yeah, fun stuff, fun stuff. But yeah, we'll see you we'll see you guys on the next one. Had a lot of fun. Uh, take care, everybody. Have a good one.